So I am back. This is part five of Resident Evil 8, The Village. And we just went underground somewhere. Now I may not be talking so much in this one. My throat's a little bit sore tonight. Um, but if there's anything I feel like I gotta explain or anything, and then I'll definitely uh, say hi to you guys if anybody logs on, logs on into the next few minutes. Uh, if not, then I'm just gonna get started. Like what I said, I may not say much. My throat's kind of sore, so. Hey, let me turn it on the chat just in case anybody ask a question or something. Hey, hey, Bobby. Hey, honey, Lord, you're up late. Hey, hey, Bobby. <laughs> you're like me, you stay up all night, don't you? Mmm. This is part five. Part five, honey. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, I'm just chilling. We'll play this. Now, like I said, though, I may not be talking as much as I usually do. I got a little bit of a sore throat, um, but I'm still here. And if there's something I feel like I got to explain that will help people play in this game, I will. You know, and if you ask something, I'll answer you. Oh, did you? <laughs> I think it was the day before. Because yesterday I didn't get on. Must have been the day before, babe. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Wait, wait. Let me see something. Yeah, I'm going to wait to see what I end up needing. Like, that's something I will say is, like, kind of saving on your ingredients sometimes. If you're stocked up in everything, you know, kind of saving on your ingredients can save you. Because, like, later on, because, like, if you need, you know, something special, specific to help kill an enemy or something like let's say shotgun bullets and then I had originally made a bunch of handgun bullets and ain't gonna serve me very well so I'll say that like if you're pretty well stocked on everything you know don't go on and just use all your ingredients wait and see what you may end up needing oh really I wish that they would make something uh, to do with stealing horses and selling them. Because that's what I did when I was Arthur and John, is I would steal horses, like, from out out there. Like, sometimes from other people, but, of course, you wouldn't get as much money. But, like, I would steal wild horses and train them up. And I think they gave me good prices. Either way, I did it. That's what I was doing. Sometimes I would steal people's horses. I'd get wild horses. I'd train them. I'd like catch the Arabian, train it, then resell it. I wish they'd do that because, you know, back then, back then, they did that. They stole horses and sold them, honey. They did. Man, that would be awesome. If they do that, I'll get back on Red Dead, definitely. They needed to add more things, didn't they? And they, they should. They should keep adding stuff. It would be kind of cool if you could, uh, <laughs> well, I don't think that if this would be correct, but it'd be an interesting twist, is make a profession of being a prostitute. Like, not really show anything, but kind of like, make it to where you just woo people. You know, you're like, oh, you look handsome tonight and stuff. That would be kind of interesting. <laughs> But the stilling horses, man, if they did that, I'd be so happy. Because I did that as Arthur, man. I went around hustling me some horses. And I would pass people like uh, non-players going up and down the road. And if I thought their horse was pretty, <laughs> I would like hog tie them and then take their horse. Or jump onto their horse and take it. Yeah, I know. I've seen, I seen other people saying that online and forums and stuff that Red Dead gets ignored by Rockstar. Ooh, I didn't even see that. Okay, 
let's get to playing this. Now, like what I said, when I'm actually playing, I may not talk so much. But, of course, if somebody asks me a question, if you ask me a question, I'll answer you. All right. So, let's do this. weird I don't know why they do that and it's sad because Red Dead is different right I mean it isn't just the typical modern first day shooter game like Call of Duty and you know what I'm saying there's there's a twist to it obviously that it was based on like 150 years ago so they should absolutely absolutely capitalize on that <sighs> Yeah, I'll be playing again with you soon, especially the new update. No matter what it is, I'll come play with you. Even if it isn't horses, I'll come play with you. Next playthrough I do of this, I doubt if I'll broadcast it, but I'm definitely doing standard difficulty because this is a little bit too, a little bit too easy. <laughs> and it won't let me change it. That's right, shoot their knees because that's what you should do. Shoot the knees. Man, if it's stilling horses and profiting off of them, that would be so cool. And wouldn't it be cool if they let us breed our own horses? You know, like if you wanted to do that as a side thing and level up on to make money, get different kind of colors and stuff and different kind of abilities. Like you could breed horses that are really good for long distance running, uh, horses with a lot of acceleration. All that good stuff. Let's go open this back up just in case we need it. We got the boat key. <gasps> Oh, so you you won't be able to get online for about a week. Well, I can wait. I'll wait till you come back because I'll probably be playing this anyway, right? If it's just about a week. And 
And where was that boat? It's that way. Wonder how we get to that. No, they'll, they'll eventually get it out there. They will. If they've already per, pus, postponed it probably a couple times or something, they'll, they'll eventually get it out there. They have to. They've already promised that they would deliver something, see? So eventually they have to. Bitch. What? Look at him. Yeah, I didn't even play this yesterday. Leave the boat key in the shack in the mine. Da, 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 da. Oh yeah, I done read that. I read that the other day. And I've got the boat key now. Oh yes, yes, man. In 2017 and 18, I was obsessed with The Walking Dead. I was so obsessed with it. And Mom and Dad had been watching it long before I did, though. I guess everything's out of here. <gasps> How do you get to that? I want it. Give, my love. And one of my first games for uh, my PS4 when I bought it, I bought it. I bought my PS4 in 2017, and one of the first games I got was that um, Walking Dead Final Frontier, I think it was called. Where are we going? What am I doing? See, there's stuff over there. I want to get it. Come on, honey. Let me get my treasure. That's mama's treasure. Bitches. <laughs> this boat. <laughs> yes, yeah, survival games are good. Are you going to get this game? You should get this. Oh, yeah, it's like, yeah, it's 60 plus dollars. Raj bought it for me, which I mean, I'm getting ready to get my income tax. I should be the other day. They gave me my 200 from state and then I'll get my federal, which is about 900. So I probably would have bought it out of that. Usually I don't buy games when they're real new, though, because of the because of the price. Even when I was working, I didn't not usually. Hey. Hey.
Oh yeah. Mm, let's see. Make sure we don't miss anything. Just we can't leave anything behind. <gasps> oh god. What the hell? Research post or something? What the fuck are they doing here? <laughs> Get off of me! Stay the fuck down! Hey. Ethan! I gotta say, I'm surprised you made it this far. It'd be a shame if something happened to you now. Sir Chris, why not? You killed Mia. Now do me and finish the job! Hey, Cap. I'm getting some serious motion readings out here. We should move on. What kind of readings? What's moving? Unknown, but my guess is we've been here too long, and Miranda knows it. Hey, hey, did you say Miranda? How are you involved? Leave it alone, Ethan. You are out of your depth. What about the sample analysis? It's definitely related to the mold. Oh, man. You stay out of our business, Ethan. What business? God, watch out! <laughs> Time for this. Ooh. Miranda sent you to slow me down. You're pathetic. dramatic what am I supposed to do fuck okay I don't know but that big like that first uh castle that I was in and stuff was really cool I know that's I like that I don't know I haven't ever played this through so we'll see jeez that was scary as shit Actually, not that scary, but like gross. <laughs> oh, he's gonna be somewhere around. He said the exit's underwater. Oh, God.
Oh God. Oh Lord, dude. If it's just looking, window shop away. Ah. This is all an investment, even. Sure, we do this upright, man. Seven sixty. Yeah. These hands are more dexterous than one might think. Thank you. Carry on. Securing goods is more important than anything. Anything, my friend. Yeah, there's nothing else I need to... to get here. Pretty sure. Got fifteen thousand. What do we want to do? What do you th what do you think I should do? Hmm. That's m that's maxed out for now. I thought I got. That's the rifle. Yeah. I'm skilled at all sorts of weapons modifications, mm. and we'll do them for a small fee. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Till next. Sorry about week. that. Sorry, I know I take a long time. I just want to make sure that I that I get what I know that will benefit me. And I hear something clanking, which usually means there's one of those goat statues. But maybe it's just him. Maybe he's who's been clacking.
this is where we came from. Always check the outhouse, man. Always something in there. Oh man, it's going to be hard. We'll go back and visit the Duke real quick. I swear I keep hearing, or I did at least when I was in the, in the house, I kept hearing what well, sounds like those goat statues that you can shoot. And I think if you get all of them, you get a bonus. Hear it, listen. Well, maybe I, I guess, Maybe it's this, but that's exactly what those goat statues sound like. Exactly. So, okay. Ah, yes, yes. Meh. Little and often fills the purse, as they say. Hmm. Pay me no mind. Poultry. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Now to cook. Here it is. Please join me. Bird and beast palais. Pal would that be palais? Palaf, Palaf, Palaf. Not a bad dish. Uh. Okay. Health. Oh, I need to get me some fish, dude. You have an eye for quality. Thank you. Yes. Here, let's save. Wonder if I can catch a fish or shoot one. Come on, man. I see. Okay. <clears throat> 
windmill too. Okay, got everything here, yeah. See, I'm, I'm hearing that goat statue again. Listen. Do you hear that? Oh yeah, there it is. See? Crazy. <gasps> Seriously? Hold on, my ear's itching. Man, my, uh, not to be like gross, this is gonna be too much information for some people, but I don't have like earwax. All I have is, is like water. Water comes out of my ears. It's crazy. Like it actually tickles and that's what gets my attention. And then if I itch it, then my fingers like covered in water and it's, it doesn't even really have much of a color at all. It's weird. And I, I have like really good hearing. My eyesight's bad though. Hmm. Hmm. Show me some fish. Show me big fat fish. Look, it did. It showed me a big fat fish. Can I pick it up? Can I pick it up? No. Pick it up? No. Yeah, I read somewhere that it's just, uh, that like some people have that some people have that type of earwax like I do they and they did say it's really good because it doesn't ever your your ears are less likely less likely to get like clogged up and my ears don't get clogged up at all Come on, brother! Run, brother! Taking your slow ass time. Speed it up, dude! Come on, man! He's like going so slow. 
Ah. Oh. oh, it ate me. <gasps> That's the first time I've died in this game. No, it's normal for me. Yeah, my ears aren't hurting at all. It's just the way it's always been. Okay. Well, let's see. What? Painted. It's like painted red or painted yellow, I mean. God, come on, dude. Now, listen here, Ethan. This whole, uh, you know, running slow and shit's got to stop. Yes. How do we do this? Now surely I couldn't have went anywhere else, could I have? I'm not looking for fish food. Go! Go! God, he's so slow! Go, dude! Oh my god. Like, that is the place where you need to run. Yeah, that's what I found. They just said it's it's normal. Now, my mom does. Mom and my fiancé, Raj. Like, Raj, his ears kind of get clogged up. And then it's his earwax is little, like, black balls. And that's how my mom's is. But my dad's isn't like that. And I guess that's who I took it after. And me and my dad both have really good hearing. Dad's up in his 70s now, though. And his hear hearing isn't as good. But all the way up until not that long ago, his ears were, like, overly good. And mine are, too. Come on, bitch. Born in 1947, November 1947. My mom was born in October 51, and I was born September 83. Yeah, dad wasn't. Um, there was something wrong with his knee, why they wouldn't draft him, or why he like got drafted or something like that, and then they found out that there was something wrong with his knee, and then they wouldn't take him. It's weird. But his dad, my papa, my papa Brown, he served in World War II. He was only, you know what, there's controversy around that in my family. Like, I guess I'll go on and tell you. I, I will tell you, because you don't know me and stuff, but I will tell you. There is literally, let me put this on pause. There is controversy in my family about this. So, Papa Brown was drafted, and it, from what I understand is he went through training, 
and he was deployed somewhere, but it was somewhere in the U.S. He wasn't even overseas. He wasn't even, like, in Germany or nothing. But he was somewhere here. He just, like, basic, from what I understand, basically out of training. <clears throat> and then somebody, remember this is in the 1940s, somebody reported him for wearing women's clothing. Like he was a cross-dresser. And so then they, um, so then they kicked him out because obviously this was probably like what, you know, 1941 or something like that. Yeah. So there's a lot of controversy around that. A lot of controversy. And he doesn't like he, yeah, he never was deployed. He got drafted and went through training, but he was never deployed. So they kicked him out, but they gave him an honorable discharge. There was an honorable discharge thing. But see, back in the 1940s, you know, people being gay was considered really wrong. <coughs> Dressing like a woman. <coughs> <clears throat> and it's something my dad won't talk about. Yeah, it's sad. Yeah. It is. It was a terrible time. I, I hope that... You know, we don't ever see a day like that, man, because history, history repeats itself, and everybody is still just as greedy as ever. We all need to be at peace with one, an one another. We all need to figure out how to take care of the planet, take care of each other, figure out, you know, try to be as close to, like, kind of, like, get close to God and our creator. You know what I'm saying? Like, really find peace within ourselves. <clears throat> stand up for those afflicted people that are abused uh let's see dude I'm gonna get down here it's gonna attack me do I need to shoot that Dude, you're all up in my face. Well, yeah, of course I knew it was the Nazis. Of course, I think everybody, everybody besides children and people that can understand know that. Surely. Yeah, of course it was the old Nazis, honey. Their old Aryan Brotherhood. It's ridiculous. I think that it's beautiful when we mix races. We're all just people, dude. Just people. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. But... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There's something over there. down here now.
god! Oh! There was something I needed to grab. Whoa. Oh my god, what the fuck? God. It ain't showing me what to do. Oh, that, you can put, oh, okay. Durr. I can't believe I missed that. Oh, get over there. Oh, gosh. Scary bitch. Oh. Oh, no, dude. There is no, honey. There is always chance of war, honey. There always is. With the, how people are. I mean, there's still, look at Israel and Palestine right now going at each other. You know? I mean, there's, a, there, that's just an example. That's like the one that's going on right now. And then, honestly, China kind of damaged a lot of their relationships with quite a few countries India which they kind of fight with India a lot about territories um, China went up you know they've, they've kind of argued with us about some stuff but either way because of the COVID thing there was a lot of countries that kind of got a little bit mad at them about that I'm not saying I support that but I'm just saying that there's a lot of countries that kind of got mad at them about that and stuff there's always kind of chance for war unfortunately Okay, let's make sure that we... What does this do? gosh here let me see if I can send you a link hold on So, I'm just trying to find the right article. There's so many. I mean, just Google Palestine Israel. Palestine Israel. And all the news will pop up. I mean, you'll see it. They just proclaimed a ceasefire just 10 minutes ago. Well, 10 minutes ago, the New York Times posted about it. The truce came into effect on Friday morning in the Middle East. After days of fighting, after days of fighting that claimed hundreds of lives. On TikTok, there was videos from either side or one. I don't know, but I seen videos. I think it was like a Palestine person posting at Israel shooting stuff at them. There's just one link. I sent it to you on Twitter. Um, 
But yeah, I mean, yeah, there's stuff going on right now with them. But it seemed like that they came to a truce uh, not that long ago, so. All right, so this is the orange. That's the blue. That's the yellow. Wow, we want, we want the yellow to last the longest. Ooh, but it is, look at it, it's lasting, isn't it? What, well, what's it doing? What's the, yeah, it lasts as a long time. He's lurking around. See? See? I ain't falling for it. No, no, no. Oh, go, God. I wonder if I can shoot it. waiting for me. Come on! Dude, really? language. I just want to go get on land and run. <laughs> What a bossy know-it-all fiash. 
Aw, I'm gonna have to do a water change for my fish. Poor little crumpets. jumped over me. I'm trying to think, should I go into this building? Or go this way? I caught myself a big one. jump down. myself a big one. I'm jumping over here. Hopefully it'll let me out. No, 
I can't get back up there. Ah! <laughs> no! Yep, no way out. I gotta do this. So... We have to come through there, go through that, jump onto that. Um, I play a lot of Sims. I play Sims. I like making houses on Sims. And families. But I love making the houses. It takes hours. Because I'm a perfectionist. Like, every detail has to be done just right. No! Oh my god, you freaking idiot! I was trying to get a view of what I had to work with. blow up this wall. Look at it. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe there's something to this. Yeah, because look. Nothing happens. Stupid. What games do you play? No. Oh, yeah, he's my fiance. We would have met again, but COVID happened. And now, like, India's being swamped. And U.S., I mean, you know, the U.S. had a problem there for a long time, too, with it. Well, neither did I, honey, until I was 35. I was 35, and it's only because of him. It's only because of Raj. I couldn't have afforded that. I was working, and I made, well, I mean, it's below livable wage. But I still, I was getting paid $12 an hour, and I was working. And sometimes I worked almost full-time hours. But where I have to contribute so much into the house, like paying bills and getting food and this and that, I couldn't have afforded that, honey. Lord have mercy, I couldn't have. See, and from what I understand about you, you're, um, it does, it feels like a whole other world. It does. And I don't know, it's incredible. It gives you a real sense of how big the world is and how many people are out there. Like all the people that I've seen in those airports and stuff, all the big jets, and I was like, God, there are so many people on this planet. But it was, uh, I couldn't have afforded that, though, babe. The only people that can travel, you know, when they're young and stuff is typically because they're privileged, you know, or their parents have taken them or they pay for them to go. Because from what I remember about you is you're still kind of young. Hold on just a minute. Hold on.
I was laughing in that video with me and Raj on the, at that resort going out onto the beach. I was laughing because there was some kind of old funny song playing in the background. And then I was like, I had the camera on Raj. <laughs> oh yeah. Gosh, when I was your age, um, the only place I ever went was Kentucky. I live in Ohio, but from my mom's side of the family, there, we had a lot of people from Kentucky. That's the only place I ever went. And it wasn't real nice either, you know. <laughs> But don't get me wrong, Mamaw's, Mamaw's house was really nice. She had this big porch, and, you know, it was little. You know, it was little, and some people would look at it and think that it was poor. You know, but it had so much love inside of it, and she decorated it so pretty, and she had a little garden and stuff, so. But I always wanted to travel. I always did, honey. And it was something in my heart that I always wanted, but I never asked God for, I never prayed for but I used to always pray and ask God. I'm just being honest. I used to pray and ask God for love, for true love. You know, I wanted somebody to love me and I wanted to love somebody else. And sure enough, here came Raj. We met when I was about 31, 32. And like, not only did I get love, like we just celebrated five years together. We're very faithful, we're very devoted. Um, not only did I get love, but like through him, I get to kind of travel. Even just going to see Raj, I get to travel. So, yeah. And then when I live with him in India someday, hopefully, Lord willing, I live with him someday. Then, um, you know, just living there and even just once every year or two, being able to go back to Goa, you know, and, and visiting even just diff different temples in India that won't even cost much for us to really go see will be an adventure to me because it's such a foreign land. Oh, when I, when I was your age and even to this day, yeah, he's from India. Um, but I, when I was your age, I would have went to the UK, definitely. I would have. Because I have, like, Scottish roots and stuff there. Scottish, Irish, and then Native American. <laughs> yeah, that music was funny. Yeah, it made me laugh. It was just a funny song, and, like, Raj was walking. <laughs> It made me laugh. I was like, because I knew people would see it and they would hear that song and then they'd be looking at Raj. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now, what's going on? Son of a bitch. Wow, attitude much. Attitude. What do I do? Push it.
like, I will definitely say this, Bobby. Like, cause see right now, cause you're 17, it feels like you're so old. Like I even remember being like 12 and 17 and 18 year olds seem so old to me. They were like adults basically. I'm telling you, when you start getting up into your 20s and you start going into your 30s, you are not old. We don't start getting old to like our 50s and our 60s, really. It's like our 50s and our 60s. Um, like your 30s are just kind of like, I don't know, you're, you're st like, I'm still so young. You know what I mean? Like, look at me, look at my pictures, listen to me, you know, like, and that's how it is. It literally is. But because you do feel like you're so old and stuff you like when you were saying that you said i've never been to a never been to another country in my life it didn't take me till i was in my mid-30s and that's not uncommon i mean yeah there's a lot of people that travel early early ages but there's a lot of people like us that don't get the chance until we're maybe in our 20s and 30s see? so but don't ever ever feel like this is it for you. You know what I mean? When Even when you're 20, even when you're 25, even when you're 30, and probably all ages, don't ever think, well, this is it. This is my life. I can't travel. Or, well, this is my life because, you know, n nobody loves me or something. You know, some people, not you, but, like, you know, some people, you know, dwell on not having a boyfriend and girlfriend. Or it, there's even been people, like, that they have, that they're still virgins or whatever. It's, it's so stupid, it's so pointless. Honey, like, Raj lost his virginity when he was 30, for example. You know what I mean? It doesn't matter. It's, you know, I don't know. Just don't ever oppress yourself in those ways. Never say, well, this is it. You know, well, I'm 25, and I'm still living with my parents, and I ain't married yet, so this is it. This will be my life. No, dude, we change. We're always growing and changing. And there's always, like life comes at you in chapters like chapters it really does yeah yeah exactly don't yeah don't ever feel like that it's because i'm saying that because i felt that way we all do we all feel like when i was 22 and 23 i was like having little breakdowns because i didn't have kids yet I was having little breakdowns, dude, because I didn't have kids yet. Because everybody around me had them when they were 17, 18, 20. Did you know our brains don't even fully form until we're like 25 and 26? So, I mean, come on. Like, I think so much differently now and I'm learning so much more in my 30s than I ever did when I was 25 and 20, 20, you know what I mean, 22. I understand things better and you do you know think about things really think things through you know try to keep a calm mindset learn from things even when you do wrong and stuff just sit back and think about it how you could have done better and you'll grow and mature and you get such a peace within yourself with that it is bad yeah yeah it is it's bad to have kids when you're that young yes um, it's just not good. I'm not saying that there isn't good parents out there that had kids like that, though. I, you know, there's a lot of people, you know, that do. But you, you, you make mistakes, and you'll definitely do it better if you have kids in your 20s and 30s, because you've experienced more of life. You know, you've went more through life. You, you have more under your belt to offer a child. Put it, put it that way. Oh, no, you can still. Okay. There's people over here in the West. Like, we have this mentality of that if we stay, if we live with our parents, that we're somehow losers. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's kind of like people say to me, you're still with your mom and dad? You know, and think about it. I'm 37. And I'll go, well, yeah. I, because of our economy and stuff, even when I worked and worked, like, full time, and I made $12 an hour, I wasn't making a livable wage. And I was having to contribute to the home and stuff, so I really couldn't move out. But in other cultures, like in Italy, I know in India they, they do, they stay with their parents. They do that. Some of them stay their whole life. 
and it ends up making sense economically because if the parents are getting retirement or if some of the parents are still working and then the children or a child's bringing in money too you can pay off your house quicker you know you have more money for bills and then some of them like in italy they have little family compounds they do where where you know it'd be the husband and wife and then one of their sons stays gets married has a couple kids you know they'll have little family compounds and stuff yeah yeah see because i used to let it get to me i used to think which our economy in america has been really bad honey it has like for us millennia millennials my generation it, it's hard you know i was working man up until just december and i only quit because of covid and i even worked almost all the way through covid but people started coming down with COVID at my work and mom and dad's old and sickly and I couldn't risk it anymore. But even when I worked and I was making tw like 12 and 12.50 an hour, 12.50 I made that on the weekends, I still didn't make enough to move out. So I used to kind of, even up till recently, let it get to me. You know, I'm still living with my parents and people, you know, online and even some people in my private life are so quick to say like, you know, God, you're still with your parents. Well you, well, you need to move out. You know what? At the end of the day, let's say that I start making, let's say I get another job. I start making more livable wage. Maybe it's better that I do stay with my parents because we can pay off this house. We can pay off this house. You know what I'm saying? Then sell it. You know, whatever happens with mom and dad, if they want to come with us. Or, you know what I'm saying? Just as an example. So, I mean, it's actually smart and it helps with family bonds. It does, unless of course you have toxic family members. I mean, you know, obviously there's exceptions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The number of people staying with parents nowadays has went up, mm -hmm. but there's still people over here, you know, that are critical. It's the, it, they criticize others like me and other people that stay with their parents. Um, you know, sometimes it's it's by, because we don't have an, any other choice, and then sometimes it is by choice. And I do love my mom. You know, if I get another job and start making more money, you know, ideally I'm gonna be with Raj soon, but let's say I was here, if I start making more money, even if I could move out, maybe I won't. Because mom needs me, you know, and I could fix up the house, try to help pay it off, right? You know, and then someday maybe we could sell it and stuff, get a better home or stay here. I mean, you know, I don't know. In the West, we have these these things over, we put these things over our heads with stuff like that. Okay, N let me play this. Let's get through this. Whoa, I thought I could climb that. I thought I could climb that, look at it. that bitch. <laughs> oh, I don't have kids. Yeah, I don't have no babies. I'd like to. I've still got, there's women, like I've looked it up. There's women that are like 42, 43. I'm 37 now. So there's still a chance. And I used to kind of give myself a hard time about that too. It's certainly something I would love to ex experience, but I'm going to look at it like this, even if I don't, if I don't, okay, um, I'm going to like, me and Raj, uh, and he knows this too, like, I kind of wanted to foster some dogs in India, there's a lot of street dogs over there that are homeless, um, and then of course I love my dog, I got Gypsy with me, um, so I was thinking about something like that, because I've always been so drawn to dogs. <sighs> And then I was going to take it like as the universe's sign to me, maybe like, well, your path isn't what most people do. Most people have kids and get married and do that whole settling down thing. Well, you know, you're going to have somebody that loves you, but you're not going to maybe have kids. Like, that's how I would look at it if that's what happens. 
that's just what how I would have to look at it and stay positive. Aw, yeah, I've had all kinds of dogs. But my parents didn't really like dogs until I came along, though. They only had cats. And I like cats, don't get me wrong. Some cats are really sweet. But some cats are really mean. <laughs> they are. Hold on just a second, hold on. hiccups <laughs> hold on Well, yes, that's that's exactly what you deserved. Yeah, sometimes, man, they'll get you. But, yeah, I know what you mean. No, dude, there is cats that's mean, though. Um, like, okay, our cat, Kobe, I got him when he was young, when he was a baby. He was probably only a few months old. He was actually walking down the street, and me and Mom were sitting on the front porch, like, talking. And... I seen this little black kitten and I was like, come here. And uh, that's all I had to do is I said, come here one time and tap my lap. And he came running. Um, but his whole life, dude, we had him up until he was about eight or nine years old. His whole life, he was, he would come up to you and like rub up against you. And when you would start to pet him, he would turn around and bite your hand. And I was the only one that he wouldn't do it to. He only did it to me maybe once or twice. I remember like once he did it to me. And he didn't even bite hard. But he would like entice people to pet him and then he would just just bite him. Um, but I don't know. I mean, I still loved him, you know. He didn't ever bring the blood on anybody, but he'd bite him good enough. Oh yeah, buddy. They have they have their claws. Well, honey. Then feel free to peruse. I wonder what this is. I want to get that necklace. Please do take a look at my new stock. Poultry, poultry dish. Thank you. I've gotten some new stock. Why does he keep saying that? I don't see anything. What's he talking about new stock? What? I've seen this. He always says that and it makes me all happy. To hunger. Used to be alive. <laughs> Look what that says, gunsmithy. Kobe was all black. He was long-haired, though. He was long-haired, and I named him after Kurt Cobain. Kobe was short for Cobain. And uh, he ended up growing out. By the time he was, like, four and five years old, his coat was so long. He looked like a little, uh, like a little black lion. But he did have a white patch on his chest. 
And he was beautiful, man. He was. And he wasn't real mean. It ain't like he went around attacking everybody all the time. He just, you knew that if you reached down to pet him, with the exception of me, I could pet him. You could reach down and pet him, but just know that he might turn around and kind of nip you. Uh, yeah, I don't really have money to do anything with these guns, do I? You have an eye for quality. Thank you. I do indeed. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, they do. Yeah. <laughs> Cats are funny. I like when they do that thing. Uh, oops. Hold on. Drop my controller. I like when they do that thing when they like arch their backs up and get on their tiptoes and walk sideways. <laughs> It's like, don't look at me like that, Holmes. What? Oh, the code. Oh, I'd have to... Hold on, I'm getting confused. I got turned around. Hold on. Hold on, dash it all. <sighs> Come on, man. Turn on the electricity to the sluice gate. Shalosh. Did I miss something? Okay. Aww. Aww. Oh, yeah, we had cats. When I was growing up, we had a lot of cats. We didn't get dogs till I was like seven or eight. Um, but, so I guess I, I did grow up with dogs, but we didn't get them until I was seven or eight. But we had a lot of cats. And they kept having babies, like mom and dad. That was the 80s, though, the 80s and the 90s. That's before more people were more aware that you should probably get your, most people should get their pets neutered or spayed. Um, and so they had all kinds of babies and mom and dad would let them in and out. You know, they could come in and out of the house and they, I seen a lot of kittens ran over and cats. And, and then of course, cause they were having so many babies, like some of their babies in their litter would die. I mean, that's kind of normal usually if one or two die out of each litter of cats or dogs. And, um, like, I've seen that a lot. Like, I've seen a lot of death as a kid because of that. I don't know that it messed me up. I mean, you know, I'm not, like, fascinated with death or nothing. They're all creepy and weird. <laughs> but I got introduced to it at an early age. Scratching my back. Let's go. Oh, honey, let me tell you. I, um, we lost all three of our dogs last year. You probably heard me talk about it. And it was crazy. Like, it was, uh, 
it's I still every day when I wake up that's the, like one of the first things I think about almost every day is and their names were Hansel Valentine and Valentine and Xanadu I'll think Hansel is in here that's like one of the first things I think of is Hansel isn't out in the living room anymore Hansel was 15 and he was born in our house we used to breed pugs we bred pugs from 2005 to 2009 so about four years we had five or six litters of puppies old age Hansel was 15 he had went uh, he had went almost all blind he was almost all deaf um, he had arthritis and he was a fighter man he was fighting all the way up until that last 10 or 15 minutes that he was alive he waited till I got home from work too he just fell in my arms and just went that's how he went he was basically he was born in my hands and he died in my hands like maybe 10 feet away from where he was born and to that he was born June 25th 2005 he was our first he was our first pug puppy out of our first litter of pugs yeah oh let me go save and then Valentine and Xanadu um Xanadu we don't know exactly what happened I'm more or less without going into all kinds of details and stuff more or less, I think she died of a fever. I think she, or maybe possibly had cancer, and then a fever had developed because cancer had done something and it had set up an infection or something somewhere in her body. It was definitely in her intestinal tract or her butt. Um, and I thought I had time. Uh, I had to work that night, and God, man, it's so painful. I had to work that night. And if I had been here, I would have noticed that she was real hot and I would have put her in like cool water and got her temperature down until we could have got her to the vet that next morning. But I worked that night. I worked midnight shift, so I wasn't with her. I called home and checked on her with dad about 1.30 in the morning. And he said she was okay. She was just laying there. I got off at 6.30 and when I got home, she was basically just dead. I mean, she was almost dead. She had like five more minutes. And... That's what I think killed Xanadu. But now Valentine had a tumor. She had a tumor that came up in her in 2019. And she was peeing blood and uh, was, oh, God, it was terrible. Lethargic and just, oh, God, it was terrible. And two different vets confirmed it. They did x-rays. She had a mass that was pressing, like, on her bladder and her kidneys. And, um, you know, and they were telling us we needed to put her to sleep. Well, we brought her home. Mom and Dad said no. We brought her home. And I'm being serious. Mom prayed for her. Mom prayed for her and begged God to give her more time. And Valentine lived another 14 months. She only died this past December 2020, or November, um, because her other, because Hansel and Xanadu had died. That's her siblings. You know what I mean? So I, I think she just missed him and she gave up and died. So, oh, no, honey, you don't understand. I have cried and cried and cried. Like, you wouldn't believe it, how I've cried. There's no way I can even make you understand how I've cried. Raj knows. If you ever see Matrix on here, that's Raj. That's my, uh, fiancé. He knows... He was with me when she died. What? Wait a minute. Oh, okay, I see what this is. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Okay, so this would be orange. <laughs> this is funny. Yeah. Is this it? Let's make sure. Wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> and this is blue. There we go.
Oh, God. Yeah, that isn't good. It definitely got hurt. Did they take it to the vet? <sighs> Oh, that's good. But you need to tell him because it could have had some kind of damage. Yeah. Just tell him it was an accident. Ah. Every time I have this whole headset on, I start itching. Let's go save again. This old guy, he gets choked on stuff. Yeah, you do. You need to tell them that they need to take it to the vet. Just say, I don't want nothing, you know, wrong with it. They need to get it checked out. That's what we're going to do. Let's wait. Hmm. Oh, well that's sad. They need to they need to have it checked out. Ew. Ew, I hate stuff like that. That's like a bunch of like millions of little bumps. It reminds me of like worms. Ugh. Where is it? What is it? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, I got you. Um Yeah, so I want this. Yeah, that's exactly. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I hope it's okay. Um, 
Yeah, they definitely help you not feel so lonely. Even my goldfish do. But dogs really, you know, they'll really hang on you, you know. And because they're mammals like us, they're kind of warm and they like physical affection. And obviously we get very close to them, you know. Um, actually, I'll probably go on and get off here. I'm feeling a little bit lightheaded. I need to eat. I haven't ate at all yet, so I'm going to go make me something to eat. I don't know if I'll get on later or not, but definitely by, by tomorrow I will. So. Well, I got my taxes. Should have been like 950, but they gave me 870. Bitches. All right. I'm going to let this charge and stuff. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, and definitely someday you'll be able to get you a dog. You will. You got lots of time ahead of you. Um, and take into consideration, like, for example, if you go to college or something, maybe you want to wait till after that what kind of job you get into like for example if you work on computers if you work in coding coding and stuff you're going to be inside a lot you're going to have to do a lot of sitting you might be in an office like raj that's his job but they allow him to stay at home but he still can't really be real active so like he always wanted a working line german shepherd like the kind that the police have they're really active they're really beautiful too but like what i told him is, is that's probably not the kind of dog you really would do best with because they need a lot of exercise and a lot of mental st mental stimulation so like he got him a little indian street dog and they're more laid back like the one he has now he rescued and it just stays at his feet you know all the time and it, it they're real laid back um saint bernard's are real laid back laid back uh what are they called a uh, great pyrenees but yeah, just think about your lifestyle and your choices, like what you're going to be doing with your working or your schooling, you know, just think about that stuff. And you'll get one. You will. All right. I'm going to get off here, guys, and I'll see you soon. Bye.